So I'm out shopping at one of the fabric stores and I just wanted to share with you some things that I picked up. I picked up this fabric that I want to use for a lining. It's thin and it has kind of a mesh feel to it. And then I picked up some ribbed knit and I like this color a lot. So I got three yards of this and I'm thinking I want to make a jumpsuit and I want to do a mashup of two McCall's patterns. So I'll put them somewhere on the screen. I think one of them is McCall 7910. I want to use pants from view number five, which are the wider leg pants. And then the bodice is from a pattern that I made in the summer. And I want to make the view that has the two straps at the top and so I want to mash that with the pants and I think that that will be cute and then I saw these tailor chalks and I really like the colors that they came in they feel like a crayon type of material so I picked these up I probably didn't need these they were just a dollar a piece so I picked them up so yes I'm gonna go home and get started on this jumpsuit and I just hope that it turns out okay Okay, so I was looking at the pattern and I realized that view number five actually has a split on the side of the leg, which is this view right here. And I don't want to split on mine, so I am actually going to make number six, which is this view right here that doesn't have a split. And then for the bodice, I just lined it up just to see how close it will be. It's a little bit short. But because this is a knit fabric, I should be able to stretch that over there and make it fit just fine. And the bodice does call for a lining. And I want to make this view right here. So I started sewing. And here I am just showing how I attach the mesh lining to the fabric. And this is how everything looked when it was turned inside out. And then I did a little understitching around the top. Here I have the pants all sewn and I am taking the bodice and I am inserting it into the pants. And then I just looked to make sure the side seams were going to match up okay. And then I just put everything together and sewed all of it up in one piece. Oh my goodness, this jumpsuit is extremely comfortable. I just really like it. And this is a bodysuit that I made a while ago from a simplicity pattern. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. Luggage labeled as fragile will usually get loaded last and unloaded first. So if you are traveling with something that is fragile and you would like for your luggage to be one of the first ones off the plane, you can stop at the counter and ask them to place a luggage tag or a luggage sticker on your luggage.